Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this reaction uh, where we are looking at organic reactions, in this lesson we are looking at the elimination but dehydration is the main uh, reason for this lesson. And remember guys, if you're not, if you haven't gotten hold of the other lessons, you are new in this channel, it means you have quite a lot to go to. Uh, go back to the previous videos, to, to the back, 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 maybe more than 15, 20 videos on organic chemistry. Then it also means you're not subscribed. We welcome you in the channel if you are new, but if you are already part of us here, please subscribe. If you haven't shared this channel to your friends, you are guilty of withholding information. Just share it. All right. Now, look at this. We are looking at dehydration from that word D. I told you when they say D means you are taking out. It's elimination. D means you are taking out, but hydration, what are you taking out? Hydration means water. So you are taking out water. So elimination of water from an alcohol says reaction conditions. As I said, whenever they talk about elimination, you need strong um, reactants. In the previous one, when we're eliminating a hydrogen halide, we said strong base, which was soda hydroxide in ethanol. Even here, it says excess concentrated, you see, very harsh conditions. Then it's concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid and you need heat and then you, you can also use aluminum oxide so if they say sulfuric acid is H2SO4 but it's conch, conch you write like this concentrated usually write to say conch sulfuric acid meaning concentrated conch or conch phosphoric acid is H3PO4 and then aluminum aluminum oxide this one is simply as Al2O3 uh, but don't forget you need heat 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 is that sign says so the the acid that acid is the dehydrating agent it's the one that is sucking out water and it also acts as a what as a catalyst and they are major and minor product now use ethanol and butane tool as an example let's start with ethanol how can we dehydrate ethanol? To dehydrate ethanol, look at this. If I've got ethanol, ethanol is simple to draw O, H. This is my ethanol. All right. So now plus sulfuric H2SO4. Now we're saying in the presence of heat, we're not really adding sulfuric acid though in this case, I would like to put sulfuric acid here to say in the presence, in the presence of H2SO4, remember it's conch, and then if I'm having that, what am I going to have? Dehydration, I'm going to take out and where am I taking out because I'm eliminating. You take from the other carbon and the other carbon. You see H and OH, that's your, this is your water. That's our HOH. That's the water that we're taking. This hydrogen will combine to become HOH. See that? But what happens, there is a double bond that will form there. So you'll have this C, double bond C. Hydrogen, hydrogen is ethene. See that? So this is ethene plus what? Plus water. That's what you are forming. Dehydration of alcohol. It's an alkene and water. Now, no major product, no minor product because it's just two carbons. But when we talk about butanol, the story will change. Look at this. When you start talking about butane to all, Things start changing there. That's why we start dealing with minor and major product. Let's deal with but butanol. Look at butanol. What we have in butanol? We have this one, two, three, four. 
this is butanol right butan 2 o then o h all right in carbon number two so let's name this carbon our carbon here carbon number one carbon number two carbon number three and carbon number four because it'll be very important but don't forget what are you reacting this with you are reacting this guy in the presence of what we said you are adding conch con concentrated for conch h2 so4 with a strong acid or we can say h3 po4 or we can say al 203 but this is not conch it is aluminum oxide not really concentrated but let's leave this one always try to use these two is either phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid and then you need what you need heat then two things are going to form pay attention the first elimination will involve carbon one and two because i can form water there see that water can be formed so what am i going to have so in this one i'm going to have my first structure here but in carbon one and two that's where the double bond will form see that so we do that don't forget in each and every place there you must already know i'm getting what plus what plus water this is water but to avoid looking a bit funny there because my space is safe i'll say plus h to o this is my water that's why it's called dehydration i'm taking out water or what if instead i'm focusing on carbon two and three and i'm interested in that part eliminate like that the hydrogen in carbon three not in carbon one what am i having again carbon two and three is a double bond so you see see like this you see that you need to be familiar or familiarize yourself with such reactions they mustn't be difficult see this now this is carbon one two this is carbon three and four now don't forget plus h2o but if they say write the structural formula, you don't say H2O, you write it as a structure. Water as a structure is that, that, and that. That's the structure of water. Okay. I'm just reminding you there. All right. I don't want to have it. Look at this. So, which one is the main product, the major product, and which one is the byproduct, the minor product? you follow the Markovnikov's rule. It says, go to carbon number one and carbon number three. Let's go there. Carbon number one and carbon number three. We can't look at carbon number two because already it's got the OH group, so don't look at it. Look at the carbons which are surrounding the OH group, the one before and the one after. From those carbons, which one has got the smallest number of hydrogens? Then which is carbon number three do you see that it has got the smallest number of hydrogens from that carbon take out the hydrogen because it is the carbon with the smallest number of hydrogens which you must take out remember it's a very harsh law to those who have more more shall be given that is in addition then to those who have less even the little that they have take it away from them that is what carbon number three so in this case you can see that the carbon number three has got two hydrogens carbon number one has got three hydrogens so we're going to take from here so this one this one is our major product all right and we call these also i forgot the important part what do you call these guys we call these guys what isomers don't forget the important word there why do we call them isomers it's same molecular formulas you can see that same molecular formula it's one two three four the molecular formula here it's c2 
and then one two three four five six seven it's one two three four five six seven i'm missing a hydrogen i hope you pick that up very important hey eh? it's one two three four five six seven eight h eight this one here what about this one here again it's c four one two three four five six seven eight h eight do you see that it's the same molecular formula but the structures are different why the double bond in the first one is in carbon number one two and the double bond in the second one is carbon number three four and what do we call this we call these positional isomers why because it's the position of the double bond that is the position of the functional group which is the double bond so these are positional isomers again we say this is the what major product here and you look at the one way we took it had three hydrogens and you took hydrogen it doesn't like to be formed we call it then the minor product being the minor product sometimes they use the word what byproduct it's not the actual uh, product you know byproducts are these products that form on the side it's a side reaction it's not the actual reaction that is wanted you get these Sometimes the main reaction that they want is this one. They'll be wanting this one. But now, unfortunately, you end up coming with this. That's why during COVID, you find people were uh, preparing their own alcohols. Remember, at home, they were brewing their own alcohols. During that time, you heard that they were being warned that some will be poisoned. Why? Because you'll be trying to form ethanol. But because they are minor products and major products, you find that you are forming other products which are now dangerous. You form another product which is an isomer of that product. Sometimes that product can be poisonous. You know, Sometimes you have had in such things you discover one isomer can cure, for example, cancer, and the other one can actually cause cancer. That's how dangerous an isomer can be. It's a byproduct which needs to be removed from the main product. So guys, this was what we're looking at when you look at dehydration. Giving you a homework for you. Are you able to do this one for me? Look at this homework. Do this one for me. I give you this one. Um, Alright. Yes, I give you this one. To say here is OH. Alright. And then you fill up with the hydrogens. And then I say to you here. Um, this is passed through sulfuric acid SO4 that is concentrated and then they add heat. Okay, I uh, draw the structures of the minor and major product. and major product and then uh, yes that is that I want that and then the other one I want you to do so that's the first one the second homework I want to give you this one and I give you PR edge edge and edge I'm just giving you a quick homework here so even here I don't want to be calling it PR. Let's call it CL here. And then I say here, you are given uh, it to be plus. Plus, this one I must add plus sodium hydroxide, but there is heat. And then there is ethanol also. So I'm asking you, uh, write the balanced equations balanced structural equations balanced structural equations of major and minor product do that for me see that very important i'm doing this because i know they like this question or the next question 
you pause here get this question and try it the next question i give you this this and then i give you that that and i give you this i give you the structure and then i say to you we are going to add him um h b r right and then we're going to do an addition reaction now i want you to uh in this uh this is a uh, room temperature and this is dilute so uh right the major and minor product formed use structural formula structural formulas and then see that question the last question i want to do is the similar one where i give you this one here And then from here you are adding water H to O H O H so you are adding water in here it's hydration so what is the condition here I wanted to to write major and minor product and the IUPAC name and the IUPAC names of each track and see if ever you can be doing this so these are the questions I'm giving you you pause there you do that you pause there you do that you pause there you do that all these are involving major minor product major minor product major minor product guys it's very important for you to follow up on these videos that's why I keep on saying be subscribed and it gives me joy when I know that there are people behind this channel who are benefiting. So we've come to the end of our lesson guys. Cheers. See you again in the next lesson. And in the next lesson, we are looking at what? I know maybe you wanted to say, doesn't this thing finish? Unfortunately, it keeps going, but you are almost there. We are looking at elimination reactions and it's the cracking of alkanes. Cracking. Very important one. But not much involved, but I'm just going to show you that. So join me in the next lesson. Thank you.